Great day come for killers. It's August 1st, and we're back at it. I am Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. And I just want to send some positive vibrations to you, some great healing vibrations, just in case you need it. I don't know. I, I kind of sensed someone needed some positive vibrations today, so I wanted to send that to you. And in terms of the positive vibration that I just sent to you, we are going to talk today about something that could almost send you instant relief. You know what it is to get like an instant weight off your shoulder. Imagine just hitting the hitting a lottery for the big 256 milli and you're like, "Oh my god, a big weight has just been lifted off my shoulder." That's what that's what I'm going to give for you today cuz I have a a technique, a tool for you, and this tool I think is overlooked. It's so simple that it's overlooked by people, individuals just like you. I've overlooked it and I feel bad. When I overlook this tool, I feel bad. So I want to make sure that you're actually looking to use this tool as effectively as you possibly can so that you could feel better. Now, we set standards in our life. Now, hopefully you got some standards. Hopefully you don't let someone just run all over you, uh, beat you up emotionally, beat you up verbally. So hopefully you're not letting nobody beat you up physically because that's a whole different topic that we gotta discuss on the opposite side. But people cannot just take you for a sucker, you know? And if they're taking you for a sucker, and most likely when you start pinpointing like, yo, I'm being used, you know? I, I give so much, I, I'm, I'm all in. I, I'm there emotionally, you know? And I'm just being pounded. You ever felt like that? You ever felt beat up emotionally? You know, maybe you're going to work all the time and no one has turned around and said, you know what, fantastic job, you do a great job. You know, me personally, I wasn't, uh, I was an intrinsic, uh, I get my motivation from intrinsically, uh, not from anything external. So if someone says, hey, Stacey, you're doing a fantastic job, it wouldn't make or break me. I just, you know, it's good to hear, but it, that, that's not where I get my motivation, my personal motivation. Some people get their motivation from, from they got to get backpacks. You got your motivation from how others look and view you. And that's the wrong way. I'm telling you right now, that's the wrong way. It may work, you know, when you're a child. It works. Hey, listen, you know, Johnny, you did great. You get a high five. Johnny runs back. He loves it. He feels good about himself. I want you to feel good about yourself intrinsically. So this tool that I have for you today it starts with C, and you're not gonna believe it, but it's communication. Now communication, look at it, let's look at it on an overview. Let's look at it at a bird's eye view level, communication. What do I mean by that? I mean, okay, there's there's a someone that's directing the communication, someone that's actually putting that communication out, and then there's a receiver, okay? And then through that connection, there is a message right? There's a message that goes through. Now, you're probably looking at communication like, okay, verbally only. The communication is not only verbally, okay? We could communicate through our thoughts, all right? We could communicate through our feelings. And you know this because have you ever walked in the bank or walked up to any, any place? Maybe you went to a service company and you went to, um, you know, get some, some things done, right? And you walk up, or maybe you checked in for a flight, right? And you walk up and maybe there's like three people ahead of you, but you're looking at one person. You're like, man, I wish I get that person because they're excited, they're happy. I can see the way that they're communicating with the others. But this one over here, oh man, that she looked like she woke up on the wrong side of a few beds, you know, not just today, but previously. Like she'd been consecutively waking up on the wrong side of the bed, you could, you could sense that. And that's how the, um, you know, the feelings are, are vibrated across these, this plane right here, you know? So we pick, we pick up on that. Um, so just think of communication as there's other forms of communication. Me just touching, there's a plant here. Uh, did I bring it into scope? Bring it into scope. Yes. You feel, you see my leaf? This, this, I communicate with this, with this, um, plant and through touch, through touching and the way I'm feeling and I send that vibration to this plant, to this leaf here, 
we're communicating with each other. And I could tell. I could tell when this plant is happy. You know, no, no, I'm not a kook. I just know that the, 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 there's things that are going through the atmosphere vibrationally in waves, okay? So when I talk about communication, it's not just, hey, how are you doing? Okay, I'm doing great. That's not just all I'm talking about with communication, not just a verbal thing. We send it off through touch, you know, our senses, and then through our sixth sense, you know, even feeling deep about something, you could send that off. Now here's here's something to think about with communication. Let's say I have a inferior thing going on in my thing. Let's say I have a, a, a mindset of lack. Let's say, you know, I'm a negative person and I just am, okay? Now let's say you're the most positive guy on the block. You're positive Paul. Positive Paul comes, comes over to me, okay? I'm negative Nancy, you're positive Paul, and I don't gotta say a damn thing, right? Okay, you know, oh, you feel it. Now, what is actually receiving that message? What, you know, or how are you taking on that message? Maybe I'm smiling, you know, I'm like, she's in over here. Um, but I'm negative Nancy. How do you know? Well, there's a thing, intuition, that communicates all the time. It's communicating with your higher self, with your personality, with your character, with your instincts, with your synapse, with the whole being of you. And that, within your subconscious, is also communicating out to another person. So subconscious to subconscious, we're communicating with each other. So we're talking about communication on a larger scale. Now, I want to make you feel good. That's the entire reason of this video is to get out of your comfort zone so you can feel better. Okay, first it's not going to feel good to understand this concept and then, you know, apply it. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of work. It's going to take a little bit of stretching yourself outside of your comfort zone. But the ultimate goal here is to have you feel 100% better. Now, I'm going to tell you a quick story. Okay, I got about three minutes left, so bear with me. Okay, maybe like four. Okay, three, three to four minutes. Um, so there was something that I was holding inside. You know, there's something that I needed to, I knew I needed to speak to this person. But then I was like, you know, every time we actually saw each other face to face, I kept it in. You know, I kept it, I kept it in. I got like, oh man, I kept it. Yeah, like, yeah, you a coward, okay? So, and it wasn't even like this hugely bad thing where it's like, we're going to make our break. It's just setting my standards, I felt, was not being appreciated, respected, acknowledged. So I, w I wanted to communicate on that. And I communicated to, you know, what we do is we, we communicate to people that can't change anything. You ever, you ever, you know, you ever, you ever go notice that? We come home from work and we're talking about the people at work and the person at home cannot change anything. So we're talking to the wrong people. We're talking to the wrong people. Sometimes even talking to ourselves, the wrong person. Go go to someone that can control that, could change that, that can make you feel better, okay? So the standards, the, the standards of myself, I think, was not being uh, you know, abided. Okay. My policies that I set for myself, I think I don't think it was, you know, maybe I didn't do a good job of communicating those policies, those standards that I set for myself. You know, sometimes you gotta bring it back on you. You fail to communicate your own standards. So what happens is, you know, we go around, we got these ill thoughts, we got these feelings, and we're carrying them. And what happens is that our soul, our intuition wants us to be free. So guess what? In order for us to be free, we have to feel bad because that feel bad notion is supposed to ignite us and let us go take our asses and go talk to the person or go communicate where we need to communicate and feel better about ourselves. But what usually happens is no, we hold it in, we bottle it in. And that's not good for anybody. It's not even good for our health, you know? If you ever see someone that's stressed out, they're a worry bug. They're worrying about things. They're putting things, they're adding more to the story. It started out as a simple thing. It could have been a two minute conversation, you know, two minute communication. But then this thing, you know, piled on itself, piled on itself. Now you're like, you know, you're under the damn, you're under the damn grave with, with it. So what do you gotta do, okay? Sometimes communication is not just to mend a relationship, okay? Sometimes it doesn't end peacefully, 
you know, it, it, sometimes, and when I say peacefully, it, it just, you're not holding hands running out under the rainbow, okay? What is happening is you're making sure that you get this thing off of your chest. It's, it's, it's communicated in the right directions. You send the messages in the right direction. Now, the acknowledgement is there because you need that acknowledgement piece. Because, so you know, the loop, the loop of communication ends with acknowledgement. If you don't have acknowledgement, there's going to be doubt on someone's side. You understand? Someone is going to be in some kind of doubt because some, we didn't acknowledge what was being said. The message was not either clear. Maybe we were under, there was some so much noise we couldn't get it to it. But simple things always end up heavy, always end up more, always end up accumulate more complex when we don't take action. So the feeling bad part is just a way to push us. It's a, it's a, it's a, you know, automation inside of us, you know, through our intuition, subconscious, we don't feel good. This, this doesn't align with who we are and we ought to say something about it. We ought to get this acknowledgement. And if we don't get the acknowledgement, we never got our answer. We never got this thing cleared up. So I want you to get things cleared up. So write down a list, you know, um, of who, you know, there, there, there's a bad thought. There's a thought. You can start on the list with a thought. The thought keeps coming up. Where is this thought coming up from? What is this thought? I don't feel good. You know, you got to really personally assess yourself. You know, you can't really uh, lie about this. Okay, there's a thought. You don't feel good. Okay, who's attached to this thought? What is attached to this thought? Who and what is attached to this thought? And you could actually get down to this root and say, damn, you know what? I didn't clear that up with this person way back and you pick up the phone or you send a letter or you do something or, or you just make a, a clear acknowledgement that this is dead because you're going to be carrying around that piece of luggage for a long time. I was downstairs. I was watching the tour to France to the tour de France. I was watching that and I got my days mixed up and someone came and said, when is the tour over? And I was like, it's this weekend. And I was really confident at it. I was like, yeah, it's this weekend. They're up in the Alps. Uh, they're riding through there. It should be done this weekend. I was really confident. And she was like, really? This weekend? And I was like, yeah, this weekend. And I was so confident. And then when I came, when I was walking home, I was like, shit, that tour is not going to be, uh, it's not, it's not going to be over for another 20, like 17 days. What the hell was I talking about? It just started. Um, but it, it bothered me. Like, I was really like, oh shit, I got to clear that up with her and say, hey, listen, I gave you the wrong date. It's not going to be over. But I haven't seen her. And, you know, I, I remember thinking about it for, you know, maybe a day, like, oh shit, you know, why did I, you know? So it's, I'm talking about, that's so simple, that's little. Even if I see her or I don't see her, so what? Whatever, you know, toss it out. But just, I'm talking about what if it's a bigger deal now? What if you're, you're dealing with a bigger deal? Uh, imagine how heavy you're gonna feel if that's not recommunicated. So think of communication both on uh, a holistic level where it's not just a verbal uh, that's the first thing just understanding the flow of communication you have the receiver you have the sender you have a message you may have some some disruptions between the message whether it be there's misinformation here there's a bit of distrust there's a bit there's all these things that could, that could cloudy up the message and then there's no acknowledgement or there is an acknowledgement a full beautiful cycle of communication is that there's a sender there's a message there's a receiver even if it's my leaf here okay and the message was acknowledged what do i want to get across what point do i want to get across what am i trying to share you know so think about that too and understand that the thoughts are just as powerful if not more powerful than the words because the thoughts you don't have to say anything you're just sending so imagine how many uh messages and thoughts that you're you're receiving you know why am i lean why am i like leaning i was like this why, why am i leaning um think of how many messages you're intercepting okay on a daily basis okay you pl you turn on the radio you turn it down low okay you turn on tv it's down low it doesn't matter your subconscious picking that up because your subconscious is a receiving and receiving and sending even when you're not even when you're sleeping so you got to be very careful about the communication around you the communication that you're allowing in your environment the communication that's just naturally happening in 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 a place in an environment but also be aware that you are getting the acknowledgement you want it doesn't have to end peachy but you may have to get that acknowledgement 
whether the acknowledgement is, hey, listen, I can't hang out with you. Hey, listen, there's something that I got to do that I can't, you know, I can't invest in this property. Maybe you really wanted to say no when you said yes, and now you feel bad. You know, all of these things come from faulty communication. So handle your communication and jump on the comfortkillers.com. Hope this video helped you out. This video helped you out. Let me know about it. I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name.